Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Interstellar Rift. So today we are harvesting gas. We need uh, some of this material to. I, I plan to build a big ship, so this big ship needs uh, Vectorium, a material that is um, uh, crafted with uh, uh, gas, a gas component, and. We're going to set out and look for gas and we're going to harvest it with some um, gas harvesters. I want to show you guys the, the mechanic of uh, this part of the game. It's a, an important resource with gas, uh, with acidium. There are three, there are four gases. Three of them um, you can, well, you can harvest them in principle. But mainly acidium is the one you will harvest, and then there's another one that you will uh, you're able to craft with the other three. The other ones are fulgurium and calderion is the other one, and then um, the other one is vectorium. The vectorium gas. The vectorium gas is uh, crafted. So for that we will have to go to a tier 2 system and I will show you how to find the clouds and how to harvest the gas. So let's go, I'm, by the way I'm in the Federation Mobile Factory uh, G. So this one uh, being a factory, it has the extractor, the refinery, the assembly, and additionally, this one has the gas harvested harvesters, and these are the gas harvesters. I, I have two of them here, and this is some acidium I already harvested from a previous se session, and we are going to. Um, yeah, we are going to set a course to a tier 2 system. So, in general, when setting up a course to a system, you have to look what resources uh, you have. And also, it's good if you look at modifiers. So, um, systems have modifiers, negative and positive. And it's good to, to look at that. Also, uh, you should look at um, what what faction is dominant on the system. Especially if there are a lot of Skrills. So, let's go. I was um, setting a course to this one, to Bowl. So here, once you, you select uh, your destination with the e, the e key, like pointing at it and pressing E, um, you will find here information about the system. And this one has um, a Skrill, Skrill is 327. So they are not as dominant and they are, the other faction has, uh, they have presence here in this system. It doesn't have modifiers, you can see it here, zero. And here in the list of resources, you can see that uh, in this system, you can find um, the three gases, like the acidium, the fulgurium, and the calderion. And uh, additionally, we have um, copper, that's nice, because it always let us um, uh, craft stuff. Copper is, is a, like a basic resource that you always need and iron and also zinc that is important to craft brass for weapons and other things the only um, disadvantage of the of this system in the resource list is that it doesn't contain water so you cannot mine water but since the other factions have a presence there you can always find fuel so this is not a problem okay so we set the course to there and just press engage. Let's go to the bridge. I 
And... There we have the rift, we open the rift. And we are heading towards Bow. Tier 2 system. To mine some gas. Or harvest, I should say. We're going to harvest some gas there. So, this takes a moment. I wish they would add some animation in like uh, between screens right while well, one is loading it's a pity that well it's this game has been uh, developed uh, by indie developers and recently they they have been um, they they ha they made a, a contract with um, iceberg and they have been doing a lot of uh, updates so the game is getting ever better but still some things need to be polished okay um, so we are here now what do we do from here we we have these signatures currently we have four and these signatures they point to anomalies and these anomalies they um, they can uh, be resolved to um, a gas cloud sometimes the the signature says that it's specifically a gas cloud so let's go to one of the stations just to to explore the system to get closer let's see which one or well, there's an anomaly here so also when you when you hover here you will see that uh, there are signatures in that system and in this case we have a warp signature to ball one ball two doesn't have anything no signatures, I mean. And this is the most populated uh, planet. So let's go there. And you see that the signatures are growing, right? Whenever you want to scan one of them, you just press on it and it starts scanning that anomaly. And then here you will see a percentage. And we're already, we're already being um, things scanned by a combat drone. So you you see that there's some presence here in the system. At least uh, some security. Okay, so let's uh, warp there. because it will help us um, find more uh, signals and resolve wha what they are Okay, so we are close. Let's head toward the mining station.
just to um, get some protection from the from the station and, and look around. Ah, uh, already some squirrels are showing up. Okay. Let's see if this one squirrel is uh, bold enough to get closer. Wow, okay, they have a Skrill invasion here, but they are far away though. I think if they don't get closer then we can say that they... They are not... Um, their intent is not to attack. Okay, so let's see, now we have more... More signatures, there's a ship... Rift energy signature. Let's see. Try scanning some some energy signatures. They're not getting closer in this one. No. Ah, this one. There's no. Uh, that one is. Sometimes when you when you are scanning the signature then they pop up in the UI and here we can see it it's scanning that one energy signature Hmm I don't like that it's a hunter Okay They will attack sooner or later Okay um we can just head toward that one see what it is what else do we have here another energy but this one doesn't pop up it's not okay but this one is it's um somewhat far away Ah, there's the other one. Ah, this one is close by. So yeah, it seems you um, you have to point your ship towards the anomaly to see it in the UI. But this is good because this one is close. So I think we will head that way. It doesn't know what it is. What is it? Ah, it's a ship. You see, it resolved into a ship. So, let's keep scanning. At the moment, there are no... You see, it's it's uh, now it's here in the list. And it's scanning. Uh, resource deposit. Sometimes these ones uh, will resolve into a cloud. And this is, again, not far away. I will hop to the mining station to see if they have some of the other gases we need because one thing is that it's hard to find um, the fulgurium and the calderion uh, the, they tend to uh, decay into acidium so once you find a, a cloud usually it's an acidium cloud I mean, sometimes you have a, a mixture. Ah, look, there are some. I will buy this. This is not much, but I will buy that as well. So the, in this system, you can find this um, these gases being sold in the in the stations. Also, when you uh, kill some Skrills, they will contain um, at least uh, some of the gases like uh, ful Fulgurium, I know that they drop now and then. Ok, 
Okay, so let's see. Okay, so it seems that it's still scanning that one. We have to get closer to resolve it. But it's very um, likely that it's uh, a gas cloud. Okay, and we what we do with these gases is that we, we load them into the harvester. And, well, for now you... Well, not necessarily. I, I won't load them, but um, at some point I will load these gases into the harvester and you, s you will see why. Currently I, I have um, some fulgurium and uh, calarion. Calarion. <laughs> I... This... Um, this one is hard to get it right. Calarion. I call it before like Calderion. <laughs> Messed up with another word there. Like Caldera, like this volcano type. Okay, so let's uh, head towards the anomaly to get a closer look to resolve it. So we set it as target and off we go. This is um like this Star Trek style ship. I I have several of them and uh, but this is uh, specially made for Well, it was it was a modification. I modify one of my designs so it can harvest um, it can harvest uh, gas and uh, one uh, nice feature of these mobile factories is that they have everything they uh, like uh, all this uh, you can refine you can extract you can assemble so in a system where you don't have anything or even when you have these services in a system, the, the, the possibility to to do these things um, right in the... Oh, I think it's in the other side. In the other side of the planet. Of this gas giant. Yes. So off we go. So let's take a look at the front of the ship. It's a chubby ship. <laughs> Okay, we're getting closer now. And let's see what's... What is it doing? Still scanning? And I saw that another resource deposit popped up. Okay, now it's scanning again.
Okay, it's almost done. Yeah, you have to wait until it uh, finished the scan. And there it is, it's a gas cloud. And it's not far away, that's great. We can jump. And there you have it. Yeah, basically you see the cloud here, right? Basically it's um cerium. You can target the like the center of it. Let's see what's the proportion of the gases here, but as you can see it's uh, green. So I would expect to be basically a cerium. Let's do something here. Uh, recharge that one. Yeah, it's basically a sedium you can see here. So, to harvest, you just have to activate it here. Now it's mining a cerium. I will do the same here. We can already take um, one crate out. Each crate contains 5,000 units. And you can see the size of the cloud here, 43,000 almost uh, cubic meters. And yes, as you as you harvest, then the 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 cloud, of course, um, gets smaller. So with acidium, you can make improved fuel. And this improved fuel, it gives more energy per tick, so it's more efficient. And so you will run out of fuel uh, at a slower rate. Your tank will be depleted at a slower rate than hydrogen. So this is the basics of uh, harvesting, right? And how to find the cloud and how to to harvest it. Ah, this one is empty. I can I think I can place that here as well. Okay, so I think you get the idea here, but I want to show you uh, the um, how to 
to craft the Vectorium using the other gases, okay? So let's stop this now. So the idea is the following. Um, you need to combine the gases in order to um, to produce vectorium gas. But this combination is um, it's a like a specific proportion, right? It's a specific proportion uh, in which the gases uh, have to be uh, mixed. And so what you do, you, you could do this by, um, you could control the, the proportion by releases, releasing the gases from the harvester. Okay. Um, you could do this like inside of a, of a cloud. Right, like you would um, somehow, yeah, you you find acidium and then you start releasing the fulgurium and the calarium, and um, then you will um, have your proportion. But it's difficult to um, to have the right proportion inside an acidium cloud. Usually, these are huge clouds of material. And then you would have to release a lot of the other gases to get the right proportion. So I don't do it like that. What I do is that I go to uh, somewhere, some somewhere where there's no gas, right? And I would release all the gases that I need, uh, controlling the proportion, and then mine it. You will, you will see. I will sh show you. You will understand once I so. Let's do it here. This seems like a right spot. And that's the reason why we need two uh, harvesters because one would be used to release the gases and the other one will be used to harvest because you cannot release and harvest at, at the same time so you see here there's no cloud or there's no volume there's no material and you uh, press here in the select source and select vectron gas so you we want to um, we want to craft that gas and it shows you the proportions let's take our gases here and there we go um, so we don't have much um, fulgurium Ideally, I would get some more fulgurium, but just for um, showing you guys. Ah, uh, uh, what was that? Yes, sometimes this happens that uh, I will get like more quantity. It's a glitch there. Okay, so now we start releasing uh, the the acidium. I release the acidium first because. It um, is the one that um, is not decaying, right? That's that's the reason. So let's release it. So it's now being released. Let's turn it off. Okay, let's. Yeah, I I released this um, like five thousand volume. Okay, this is already set up. Well, it depends how much do you have, but I usually release like 5,000 here because I have enough of the other. Like, um, 
Vectorium will be like half of it. So we have enough, uh, uh, sorry, Fulgurium is like half of it, so we can just release it. So I release this until we have um, 5,000. And then stop. And now I'm going to release Calarian and uh, Fulgurium until they are in the proper proportion. And you see that now the acidium proportion is reducing because these are all relative uh, proportions and once they get to this like um, yellow uh, margin there we can start um, we can start harvesting but the three of them need to be need to be in that band So I think I need more, more of this. Let's accelerate everything. This is good to have the, you see now we are reaching the point. And now we can start harvesting with this one. So now that one is harvesting the Vectorium. And here we can stop this one and well, I ran out of um, of Fulgurium, unfortunately. But this is already harvesting. You see, Vectorium here is being produced. So, since I don't have more Fulgurium, I cannot keep going. And once uh, the Vectorium is not produced anymore, then um, it will st it will just harvest harvest the gases. So so right now it's just harvesting whatever is there. All of the gases are going down. But we could manage to produce 3,300 um, units of uh, Vectron gas. So there we are, we obtain Vectron. And with Vectron we can produce then the vec Vectorium material. I think I got the uh, names <laughs> wrong before. It's Vectron gas, not Vectorium. But you get the idea, right? Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I think uh, it's evident now uh, why we need um, two harvesters, right? To For this operation. It's ideal to have two harvesters because with one you are like controlling the proportions and with the other one you are um, you are um, harvesting the, the, the mix the mixture to craft the the material you want like the gas you want Vector, Vectron gas is one of them but uh, you can also uh, craft the other one, this TNP that is used for weapons. So I think, yeah, I will keep this going. Okay, but I think this is uh, everything for this video. I hope you enjoy it and hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.